So thank you so much for being here. It's a nice little quiet call this evening. I think some people will jump on as we go through the call. So lovely to see you all, Emma, Emma and Bertha and Jeanette. Lovely to have you on. And if you've got any people that are um, in your team and they're not here, then definitely pop them a little message and let them know that we're here. Um, I do know that there are some people who will be watching back. So, um, you know, if you're watching this back on replay, hello and thanks for joining joining in. Um, so it's a new month. We're really excited that we are into the fourth month of the year. Um, so April is here. So we're going to have an April kickoff call this evening. Um, we're not going to keep you for ever so long tonight. We're just going to get really um, into what's important when we're focusing on April um, as a new month and, you know, being really reflective about um, how we can look at March and, you know, what we need to do to move into April and make it the best month yet of the year. Um, so I'd love to know everybody that's on. Um, Rach, no worries at all. Thanks for joining. Lovely. Um, I'd love to know if you want to put your wins of the week in the chat i would love to hear them um just while i try and <clears throat> get on my phone yeah my phone's completely died now so i can't really um write on my um tablet so i'm just gonna say it and uh win of the week is that holly um one of my new team members hitting her partner plus this month that's amazing and, congratulations uh, getting a new sign up for myself as well who's in the us um the lovely joe and uh she put her um orders in as well so she's got some chewies and perform and she started posting in her group as well um which is amazing so i'm super proud of her oh that's amazing emma congratulations like your team has really been You've got some real good momentum, like with all of your girls. It's really exciting. Um, and it's really nice that you've gone international as well. Um, and that you've got a partner plus here in the UK with Holly McCrossin as well. That's absolutely incredible. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, really congratulations. It's all those small little bits, all those small little steps that are going to add up over, um, you know, the course of the year when you look back and go, oh, my God, this is how I got to my next promotion. This is how we started to build as a team. So I absolutely love that. Um, congratulations. So, yeah. Um, Rachel says dissertation results of 80%. Oh my God, that means you got a first. Congratulations. That's amazing. Well done. Bloody hell. That's a really amazing result. I know what a dissertation, what that does to your soul. <laughs> I remember that. It's uh, It drains you, doesn't it? It's so full on. So massively, massively well done. Congratulations. Um, does that mean you're free now? Have you got any exams or anything, Rach? Or are you, are you free from uni for the rest of the year? No, I've got... <laughs> Two more exams and a safe Medicaid exam. So they're all due in by like September. But then we don't actually finish uni till October. So I'm not sure what we're doing after September to October. Probably nothing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Just hanging out things. and... Not quite yeah. got out of it yet. Yeah, well, that's amazing. Dissertations are... That's like a chunk of everything, isn't it? So really well done. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I love that. No worries at all. So anybody else? Anybody else got any wins of the week? Anybody want to share anything? So my win of the week, I think, is just we had a really, really successful March in the Feel Good Club. Um, we did a theme called Move More in March, and it's just been absolutely amazing. And the girls have really got involved, and it's just been really nice to see them progress. And the good thing with that is that they've continued from January, and, you know, they've continued using their products and can continued getting their results and we've got you know people from you know everywhere like Angie is in there Angie Berry she's done amazingly um you know we've got Emma Stoddart who shares all of her beautiful food as well <clears throat> um we've got you know some some really incredible people in there Joe showing your gym journey as well so yeah, it's been absolutely incredible so for me the win is just really the whole of March has been a really successful month for us in the feel good club it's been yeah incredible and we've obviously set out for the complete control challenge which I know that some of you are getting involved with, which is amazing as well. Like we've had a really good start to that as well. Um, it's just a really good way to get your own results. That's what I love about the complete control challenge, which is just like drop a dress size. So my biggest advice to you guys is like, get yourself on your own challenge. You don't have to do what I'm doing or what anyone else is doing. Find a challenge that you can lock in with and post about it. So every day, like say something about it on your social media and invite people because your results are going to get you kind of customers and in interest and what I think we just really need to strip it back to in April is just the basics like products business and results and that's it and sharing and talking about it like we don't need to make it really um complicated we don't need to be like thinking about all the things you know for me I know that curating reels and doing all of that stuff it takes up a lot of my time and I don't particularly love 
doing social media content in a ter- in terms of making you know really fancy reels I'm just not very good at it so for me I know that I need to be creative in other ways on my social media um so find a way that works for you and um, whether that's going live or doing double lives or doing little challenges I don't know find a way that works for you or even you know doing things in person which we're going to talk about in a bit um so I'd love to know some more wins of the week if anybody's got one in the comments um Jeanette do you want to jump on lovely uh because we're very lucky to have Jeanette here tonight with us and she's going to talk about um you know kicking off in April and what some important things are when you're starting off a new month what to focus on yeah absolutely and just adding to that Millie I think that testimonials are something that people sometimes miss with the Mm -hmm. you've said product business and results which really is testimonial um but you know it's not always about showing everyone else's testimonial because you need to show your own, which is why the the, the um, complete challenge is absolutely brilliant. Um, but it is also good to show other testimonials that people have had great results health wise. It doesn't have to be weight loss wise. It could be health wise. I get quite a lot of feedback from that. Um, and people are really quite surprised at that. So if you're not adding testimonials, to your, um, I don't mean lots, I just mean maybe do three or four a week, um, then actually that will, that will, should make quite a difference because people will see. And if you post them at the same time, each time you do them, people will know that at three o'clock, there's likely to be a testimonial come up and that that is a great, that they'll go and check in. And if they don't find it that day, they'll scroll back to find at three o'clock yesterday. Cause I'd find that's a great thing. Um, I'm sharing my food a lot at the moment, a food diary, and that's actually helping me stay accountable. I did used to do my food diary throughout the day, but I got left behind. I got in a muddle with it. So what I do is I share my food diary from yesterday when I put all the pictures together. And again, I'm getting some great interaction on that and some great conversations on that, which is, again, what Facebook likes. Obviously, we need to be a messenger and we get a lot of people. I get a lot of people like the the pictures um, and the, the foods that I've put up. And so therefore, I go and message them. I get into my inbox over them. But yeah, like Millie's saying, we want to be able to kick off this new month. And I've got a few little things I want to help you with. So we need to plan, do, review. And this is something that um, Eric Worry talks about in his seven steps to, um, to network marketing. Plan, do, review. And I've put that, brought that with me all of my journey. So if you're new, then you can plan for this month. But if you've already had a good month or a bad month, then you need to review last month. You need to take a look at what happened last month. Did you get the results you wanted to? Are you happy with how you closed the month off? So you need to review it and you need to be super honest with yourself because there's no one, you haven't got, you've got to hold anyone else accountable for this. It's just you. So if you think that you've got your, um, I always used to say that if I had five orders, that was a, 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 a poor month, 10 orders was a good month, an average month and 15 orders was a fantastic month. But with things being a bit lower now with the orders, then I'm just pleased to get anything over five orders because we're not here to make, we are the the cake, the, sorry, the crumbs of the cake. We are not here to sell hundreds and hundreds of boxes of product. That's not what we're meant to do. This business is about a lot of people doing a little. So it's most important to, to bear that in mind because sometimes you can be a little bit overwhelmed by um some people getting a lot of orders and you maybe not so that's okay but what you need to do is plan do review so plan i want you to right now plan what you think you want to get what you want for your orders for this month whether it's five whether it's one whether it's two whatever it is but it's no good if you only had one last month and you're going to put 10 down this month that's too wide a gap You really need, because you're not going to do that and you're going to feel upset for yourself. So if you've got two orders last month, then maybe you're going to say you've got three orders or four orders maybe you're going to get this month. But again, if you aim for more and you don't quite do it, then again, that's okay. It's how you, um, uh, was it disappoint your, um, I forget how the word goes now, but it doesn't matter. Um, 
you know what I'm saying. Uh, I've, I've lost. So anyway, what you need to be doing is planning what you want to do. That's most important. Um, disappoint your disappointment. Isn't that what it is? Yes, I think that's what it is. You, you have disappointed. Yeah, something like that. Anyway. So you need to um, work out whatever you want to do, however many orders you want, however many customers you want, however many team you want, and you need to know how many people that you need to speak to to do that. So it's so important to that. So you're planning and then you're going to do. So what you're going to say is, right, so how am I going to get these five orders, these two orders? Discipline your disappointments. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> So how are you going to get these orders? What are you going to do? What Look at your social media last month. Will someone follow you? Will will Did you get the message across to people? You've got, this is what the plan, do, review is all about. And you need to do that yourself every single month. It's a, it's a beginning of the month thing that you need to do all the time. And you need to write down how many customers you want, how many team you want for the month. And bear in mind, this is the last month for the one pound sign up. So we've really absolutely got to smash it. Look at your, your social media. Did you even post about the one pound sign up? And if you did, how many times did you post about it? Do you still get people that say to you, what is it you actually sell? I didn't know you sold anything. Do you actually get people that say that? You need to be able to um, you know, know that, that's, that you are achieving all of those things in your social media posts. Um, but that you need, you will do that by looking back at what you've done, by reviewing what you've done. So what so many of us do is to get to the end of the month, 31st, as it was of March, and go, oh, I made it. We got to the end of the month. And so many times we don't do very much until the 10th. So what have you actually got? You've actually, you're, you're not working for 30 days. You're working for 20 days because you don't get to work until on the 10th of the month. I can hold my hand up and say, I've done that before. And I know lots of people have, but what if you can just get 30 days of good work out of your business instead of 20 and wait, waiting till the 10th of the month, then that would, that will make a massive difference to your business because that's going to give you an extra third of days to work on your business. So that's so important to do that. So just bear that all in mind and, you know, do your challenges, show your story, be vulnerable, do all of those sorts of things. That's so, so important. But you do definitely need to be um, plan, do, review. And that is so, so important. Who are you going to work with in your team? How many new team are you going to get? All of those sorts of things. So I think Millie's going to talk about um, some in-home meetings, aren't you, aren't you, Millie? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Actually. Do you know what's so funny? Like I've got, I've got some, you know, kick off April uh, points here that I wanted to cover and it's literally like the same thing. So it's really guys, it's so simple. It's literally discipline your disappointments. What was good last month? What do you need to work on? How many ask the questions did you do? How many business posts? How many product posts? How many opportunity calls did you get on? And how are you going to make this month better? Did you get on any opportunity calls last month? Yeah. Did you speak on any? You know, what are you doing to build your business? Are you just showing up? Or are you actually taking action? Are you actually being responsible? Or are you just waiting for your upline or your leader to put something on and tell you what to do? Because I can promise you, if you do that forever, then you're not going to progress. You've got to do things that are out of your comfort zone on your own to build your business and attract your people because you've got special magic inside of you that when you get that little bit of confidence and you just go, I'm just going to do this to speak to my people rather than waiting to be told you'll start attracting different. And all you've got to do is just decide that April is the month that I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. I'm going to start doing my business. I'm going to be independent and I'm going to run with this. OK, but it's it's absolutely fine that you follow us. It's absolutely fine that you, you know, come with us and jump on the calls and invite people to that as well. But I'm going to I'm going to invite you. Um, and I'm going to encourage you to think about what you can do to invest in your own business, to build that yourself. Think about where you want to be at the end of April. What do you need to do now to get there? Where do you want to be by the end of the summer? Like, to say, the end of August. What do you want to have built in your business? Some partner pluses, some SPs. Like, how is that going to happen if you continue doing what you're doing or what you did last month? Are you going to be able to build SPs if you asked the question four times last month? Likelihood is probably not as many as you want. 
Um, so really ask yourself, you know, how many times are you getting on calls? And I can honestly say that throughout my whole career in Juice Plus, I've I've got on a call every single week, every week, no matter no matter where I am in the world, I will get on a call. Even if I've got no one to take on it, for example, I will be there because there's stories of information, there's inspiration, there's knowledge, there's experience, and you will be in with the fire. And it's about being invested in your business. It's not just about showing up because you have to. It's about showing up with purpose and intention because you want to build your business because you've got a purpose and you know your why. OK, so if you're not really sure, like why you're here, then revisit what you want to be different in your life, whether it's more time with your family, whether it's more money for holidays, whether it's you know just a bit of a community. Like, does that mean you need to get to more events because you want to feel, you know, friendships with people and build that? So really think about you know, are you actually actioning or are you are you showing up, which is fine, depends what you want in this business. But if you do truly want to work through the that amazing marketing plan that we've got, you've got to be taking the action. You've really got to be going, right, what am I going to do today? Just one thing that scares me a little bit that I know that's going to perhaps, you know, build my confidence and attract some people and get people watching me. OK, um, so one of the ways to build your business and one of the things that has really been my most successful ways to build mine is through doing in-home events. OK, um, I think what we've seen over the last perhaps, I don't know, a couple of years since we've come out of lockdown is getting people to actual pub events like hotel room events has been quite difficult to get people out of their comfort zones. But what I've really found prior to COVID and since COVID is that in-home events have been a great success. So what is an in-home event? It's basically where you either invite people to your house um, in your home or you take yourself to your customer's house or your potential's house with your products and you put on a little event. And what I'll say is that you don't need to know all the ins and outs about the products. You've just got to know your story and why you love Juice Plus. Okay. It's a really good fun uh, way to kind of build your confidence. You can have, I've had two people in a room. I once did an event with my, so I had my mum in my business. She bought in a lady called Debbie. Debbie bought in Jackie, uh, Steph. Steph bought in Jackie. Um, and Jackie had two people in the room. And one of those people ended up going SC the next couple of months later. And we only had two people in that room that day. So you just never, ever know. Like, even if you have one person turn up, that's fine. That might be one person that changes your business. Again, similar in that as well. It was my mum, Debbie Browning, Steph George. Steph George came to the event. She questioned everything. She had Crohn's disease and was like, I don't think this is for me. I don't believe in it. We sat down. I told her the science because it was on the laptop. I showed her, you know, where to go and look it all up. And she signed up and it literally changed her whole life. She didn't have to have a bowel out. She didn't have to have operation. And me and her ended up doing a bikini competition together. I didn't even know the girl. And, you know, we went through that journey together. So just never prejudge. And, you know, even if there's one or two people, they're so powerful, okay? Um, so they're personal calm and they're really easy to invite to because it's like inviting some someone over just to spend a bit of time with you for a bit of an information evening. And one of the really lovely things that you can do is kind of theme your evening. So you could, I know some of the boys like to do beers in business um, or burgers in business. Um, you could do pancake parties. You could do wine Wednesdays. Um, getting the girls over and just having a little get together, like like nice little catch ups. Jeanette, I know that you're really good at thinking of names for things. Yeah, like no, I, I, no, I'm not particularly well. No, I thought you'd just come up with some brilliant ones there. I really did. But you've got John to make always it, has some good ones, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. But you need to make it fun, and you need to tell them that there's no obligation to buy. You need to tell them there'll be no order forms round at the end, like you get with the body shop orders or Avon or anything else or, or unique or whatever. We don't walk around with order forms at the end. If they want to try the products, that's great. And if they want to make an order, that's great, but there's no obligation to do so. That's fun, factual, um, and all of that sort of thing, really. So yeah, back to you, Millie. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. So yeah, so basically what you want to do is you want to choose a date, um, choose a date for your event, make a little flyer, either use Instagram, you can create like a nice 
um, post on Instagram and screenshot it as, uh, you know, rather than putting a story up, you can actually create a story as a poster and screenshot it and then send it as an invite to people. Or you can use Mojo or any of those nice apps that you can use. Canvas a good one as well. Um, pick a date and then invite some people. Um, and if you don't want to have anyone in your house or perhaps you share your house with somebody who perhaps doesn't want to do events at your house, then find some people that you can take your products to and say to them, you know, um, would you be interested in having a, a little in-home party? Party. If you've got any friends that you think that you would love to share your results with, if it's a customer, um, do you know anybody that would be interested in getting the same results as you? And what you can do is you can incentivize them and say, like, look, if you get 10 people here, I'll give you a little goodie bag. And you can just put them in like a, a juice plus, like a shake sachet, um, an uplift and some tea bags, you know, and a nice, nice little gift pack. Um, you know, something nice and a, perhaps a nice three pound dark chocolate bar or something like that, just to say thank you. It doesn't have to be like very expensive. It's just a goodie bag. Um, so get your date set out, make your poster, get inviting, just invite, just say I'm doing an event um, in my house or, you know, this person's doing an event in their house um, and I'd love you just to come along and support me. I, it's my first one and I'm a bit nervous and I really would love you just to be one of my seven. And like Amy says, you know, she's got her three, but she needs 10 in the room. So you just, just please come and be one of my seven, bum on a seat. And I love that. Um, so I think, you know, just, just aim for 10, aim for 10, just invite. And, you know, people will say no, and that's fine. And like Jeanette said, you've got to discipline your disappointments. People will say no, and that's absolutely fine. And what you'll probably find as well is if it's in your house, you will feel much more calm and confident because you're in your own space and it will just, it will just feel nice. And you can have a little drink as well because you're not driving anywhere. So you can have a little bit of Dutch courage before you, before everybody turns up um so then it's really simple then what you want to do is have a nice little product display um get your products out make some shakes if you've got the shakes or you know if you've got the chewables and the capsules get them out on the side put them where everybody can see them and then you just need to give yourself a small structure of what you're going to do in your in-home event and if your upline lives close to you absolutely get them to come and support you but if they're not then either ask someone who's perhaps local to come and support you or you can get them on a zoom call get your upline on a zoom call and you know if anybody doesn't in home and they want me there I'm more than happy to come and support you of course um but what you want to think about is having a structure so for example get everyone in the room have a latter always have music on set some ambience you want a nice little vibe in the background um because otherwise it can feel a bit weird energy dead vibe like so put some nice music on but bit of nice energy um and then when everybody's in there turn the music off sit down um get everyone to listen and just do a little welcome so welcome everybody here my name is millie and the reason i've got you here is because there's something i really want to share with you this evening blah 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 tell your story um and then share the products okay and and that's really it and share the story and if you've got people in the room with you that are on the products and that are using them which is really really powerful so if you've got any customers absolutely invite them get them to share their story and why they started as well because that third person is so powerful one of the things that I love to have at my events as well is I have like a little flip book so um one of those folders that you slip photos in of testimonials um that's a really good thing so when people are in the room they can have a little look through and see other results that have happened um other things of course that we like to do is have samples so you know different types of shake mixes you don't have to go crazy um you know just a chocolate and vanilla sometimes you can mix it with um, you know, perhaps some, you know, dark frozen cherries or something just to give a bit of a, a mix up. And of course, if you want to make energy balls, they always go down a treat with the juice plus complete. Um, and just make it fun. You can't do it wrong. You know, you can't ever, ever get your story wrong. So remember, like it's it's a step in the right direction. The first one's always going to feel a bit funny and a bit funky and a bit scary. But I promise you, in-home events are so powerful. And of course, don't forget as well, you've got the hub. And what you can do is actually you can link nowadays, if you've got a smart TV, you can link your phone or your laptop up to your TV and you can put on that part-time magic presentation which is on the hub and you can literally skip through that you can also put the product presentation up there um, and you can skip through that as well so if you're not confident enough you can literally pop that on your tv and just talk them through what's on the screen and that is so professional and they'll be wowed okay so everything is there for you you've just got to have that courage to go right I'm going to do this. OK, um, so, yeah, create a theme, invite your friends and just have fun. OK, um, yeah. And then I've just got here samples, have a strong product display, pick a date, make an invite and just go for it. And just remember, 
why you love Juice Plus. You know, you want everyone to know about it because everybody needs it. Kids get it for free and you've used it and what's happened. And then just share the presentation, which is on your computer or on your TV, um, which is so simple. So, Jeanette, is there anything you want to add to that? Just, just like Millie says, have fun with it. Um, another great thing to do is, is have a bowl of fruit there so that you could have, for example, you could have, pick out four or five of the ingredients of the berries and you mm. can have them on a um, plate so they look nice and you can just say to them, this is four or five of the berries that's actually in this, the berry capsules, so that they get a feeling of the value that they're actually getting. Um, that's a great thing to do. You could also do a game where guess how many capsules are in the in the in the jar. Um, you could uh, another thing. There is a, a picture with all the fruits and vegetables or, that are in the fruit, veg, and berries, and ask them how much do you think it would cost to buy all of these fruits and vegetables every single day. And th that gets them thinking rather than you telling them. It gets them thinking. That, oh my god if I had to buy all of this I don't mean you go and buy it yourself that day or I have done for odd events but just have there is a picture with all the fruit and vegetables that are in our, our products um and and, and let, let them realize just what they are getting and that that actually costs when I did it a few years ago it actually cost something like 13 pounds and I couldn't find everything anyway and that would be a day so, you know, that's that's what that works out at. So the games are a great thing to do. Like Millie says, the energy balls is a great thing to do. Um, and I think you can post on your, you could message people, people that have been speaking to that you know that live locally, you know, message them and say, I'm looking for in-home event hosts. Would you love to, would you love to host a party for me? And I'll come round and I'll tell you why I need some practice. I need to practice doing this presentation. I need to practice coming out to people, making the shakes and all that sort of thing. And because I know you quite well, I'd love to come around to yours and do that. Can you invite a few friends around? That's a great thing to do, that you're looking for a host. And then when you go on your way to go to that one, put a post up saying, I'm now on my way to um, uh, another in-home event. Anyone else that wants to do one, let me know. Um, and I'll book you in, I'll find you a slot that, that we can do and get them to invite some people over and say that's going to be a fun evening. And like we've said before, you can, and any horsey mums on here, you can say that you can do it at the stables, you can do it in the tap room, you can do it at the yards, um, you can do it um, in the lorry like we used to, and you can go to the horse shows. So find where your people hang out. If you're going to the gym, you know, you could go and take your capsules and a few things out difficult to make the shakes with an electric blender and put fruit in it. I understand that, but you'll find a way. And like Millie says, you know, you can always zoom one of us in um, that we can say something or tell our story or what be that third person um, to help you with that. Cause that's a great thing. That's also a great thing to do, but definitely say that you're looking for hosts and use that in a message as well. You know, I know you live locally. I just wondered if you'd host a, an in-home event and I'll um, give you some goodies or whatever, you know, I know you've talked to me about the products. You'd love to try them. Now's your chance. So that's what I love so much. In-home events are absolutely brilliant. They really are. Um, I can't, I can't recommend them enough. Um, and as the summer is coming, we've got car boot sales girls. I used to do loads of car boot sales and I didn't go to sell the products. I went just to talk to people. And do you know what? You practice talking to people because you talk to that person and um, uh, they're interested or they're not or whatever, or you answer their objections or whatever. They've moved on. Then there's another one. They've moved on. Then there's another one. So you practice much quicker by talking to people at um, car boot sales. They're absolutely brilliant place to do that because everyone is looking for, um, you know, to earn an extra income or whatever else. So you can speak to them about that as well. But yeah, that's 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 really what I think about the um, in homes and, and keeping them short and sweet and having fun really does make a difference. Absolutely. I love that, Jeanette. I've never heard that looking for hosts. That is brilliant. Yeah. I love that. It's so good because you're, you're literally like you're not saying, oh, will you come and do it with me? You're literally going, I'm looking for people. Are you interested? 
you know, and you can use that word that I know that you love as well, Jeanette. It's like, I'm looking to, um, for hosts that I can invest in. Yeah. I love that so much. It's so powerful. And, um, and, if and if you're not horsey and you're something else, then whatever your niche is, go and go and use that same same sort of concept, really, um, as to where you'll find your sort of people. So, yeah, definitely do that. Definitely. Yeah. I just absolutely love that. So we're going to set a challenge for the month of April. And that is for everybody to do an in-home event, either with at your house or actually with somebody. Um, because once you've done this once, I promise you, you'll you'll step into a new level of your business and you'll, you'll build confidence. You will gain more customers. You'll find it easier because you're, you're, you're in control. It's your event and you will, you will invite people to it. Uh, me and Stefan did a pancake party, which was amazing. Um, we made some pancakes, invited people over and it was just incredible. So, um, you know, one of the things that I've definitely found over the years is that I haven't, I actually haven't done. That's the first, that's the first in home I've ever done at my house. I've always done it at other people's houses. Um, so as well, like if you've got team members that, you know, that are kind of stagnant a bit and they're not doing anything, say, right, let's do an in-home. And we were going to get Louise on tonight, but she's out with family. And, um, you know, when Louise first started the business, Louise Meadows, I said, right, I'm going to come to yours. And she's three hours away from me. And I said, we're going to do an in-home and you're going to invite people. and I'm going to bring all my products and you're going to stand at the front and share your story. And I'm going to talk about the products. And she actually ended up going on the hub, learning all the products she spent, she did all the courses. She went through Juice Plus University and she did all the courses and she learned everything. And we had such a great success. We had, I think there was like six or eight people there and like half of them ended up ordering then. And since like all but one have ordered and become team. Um, so it's so powerful, especially right at the beginning when people are kind of a bit like, wow, like this is amazing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm so excited that you're here. So jump on it. And I promise you, like, look at the success that Louise has had. She's now duplicating that with her team. So it's a system that not many people use, but I promise you it's super successful. And this is the system that took me to NMD because, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't need to, you know, rent expensive hotel rooms. Um, you just need to take your products and yourself for an hour to someone's house or do it at yours and have fun and just be yourself. And beautiful thing so um set yourself a date and i'd say like don't just think well i'll do it at the end of the month because you might find that you have a really great event kind of in the middle of april and you want to do another one towards the very end and then what you'll find is that you manage to get yourself through the next promotion because people will order they'll tell their friends and if you do an event at the end of the month as well for example if you wanted to do that they'll invite their friends and they might even join the business and remember like the harder you go with this, the more one pound signups that you'll potentially get and the bigger that you can build your team. And also this is the last month. Don't forget that we can get the 2000 points SP promotion. So it's really time to put our foots down, guys. If you re if you want to build this, now is the time. And obviously we've got the Rio incentive all in our minds and getting your customers and getting partner pluses is all going to accumulate towards that. And I promise you, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'm not really getting many customers, I'm not really managing to, you know, speak to people. This is your system and this is how it works. Um, and if anybody wants more information on how to do it, then please message your upline or please actually like reach out to me. I'm happy to go through it again or to help you make a plan with it. Um, did you want to say something, Jeanette? Yeah. And while when you do get yourself a, an in-home event, while you're there, book other ones with people while you're there. Don't come home unless you've got another one or two or three booked for other dates because people will be there. They're friends with that person, but they've also got another set of friends that haven't come. So you can go and do one then. Well, would you like to have a goodie bag? You know, would you like to have a goodie bag if you book one and we'll come to your house? And you could, I remember that that's what I used to do. And, and I know that I had, I was forever. John always says, let me see your diary. And I'll tell you how, how your business is going. And if you haven't got lots of things booked in with your business, whether it's Zoom calls, opportunity calls, all of that sort of thing, then he says, let me see your diary. I'll tell you how things are going. And that's what that's the case with the, um, uh, the in-home events, really. And just keep getting them booked. And you'll find it will be like a snowball and it will build and build and build more and more and more, more than you realise. And if you do an in-home event, Often you you might get no orders, but you might get five orders per night. Can you imagine that? And then you say to the host, look, as a plan to sign up, there's five orders here from these people. Why don't you join the business and all those orders will go through you? 
and then you'll earn your commission. Well, it's just mind blown, isn't it, girls? It really is. So yeah, absolutely. I love that, Jeanette. So, so really, like the difference is obviously we could say to you, like you know, you could do this in a Facebook group as well. But I promise you, there is no better feeling than getting people in a room together. It makes a million percent difference. Like it's just, it's a different thing completely entirely. Um, and once you've done one, you'll want to do another one and another one and another one. So um, that's what we really wanted to talk about this month. So really think about, um, you know, your April goals. What do you want? I've, I highly advise you to perhaps um, book in a one to one with your upline and tell them what you want to achieve in April. You know, decide your goals now. Decide what you want to achieve, how many orders and how many team you're going to get. Not that you want, how many are you going to get by the end of the month? Decide. We can like confirm it to the universe, tell the universe what you want. And um just be really, you know, get into that momentum and messy action is better than no action. So so yeah, I think that's that's what we wanted to share. If anybody's got any questions about in homes, let us know in the comments or if you want to speak. Um, all I'll say as well is, is like, you know, we're fast approaching the events in Birmingham and Ireland. So please make sure that you've got your tickets. They're drawing a raffle on Tuesday, I believe, to win some amazing prizes. Um, so if you haven't got your ticket, get it before. And I think there's like an overnight stay in a hotel, um, a Eurostar trip as well, um, and a couple of other things as well. So please make sure that you've got your ticket booked for that, because then some names are going to be drawn out of a hat to win some amazing prizes um also don't forget the calls like i know there's a lot of calls on now but pick the ones that you're going to be on this week like decide again and get on them um even if there's not many people on don't forget we've got on a oh god is it wednesday or thursday i think it's wednesday we've got the pt call um at two o'clock as well with john um and the pt so if you're into fitness then that one's on as well um and of course, we've got, you know, the calls with John every single day and our call on Wednesday. So please come along to those, bring your people um, and, you know, let's let's do this together. Like we really need to stick together as a team right now. Um, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things, you know, distractions and Easter holidays and, you know, but we're here together to help you build. So we will always keep showing up and we just want you to know that we're super grateful for you being here and spending your time with us this evening. Um, so thank you so much, everybody. Um, just just one minute, Millie. I've just one other thing I just wanted to say because I don't know whether you were, were aware, everyone, that there are four 90-day game plans in a year. And the first one is the first is January to March. So now we're now starting the next one, which is the um April through until the end of June. So, and that's like I say, there's four every year. Um, that we can do 90 day, 90 day game plan. So if you've dabbled about in 90 day game plans, I challenge you to start that one as well. If you're already doing yours, you've still got days to go. That's absolutely fine. You carry on. But if you haven't, then from now until the end of June is 90 days. And that's what we work to all the time. And that will be help you with your plan do review as well. So if you're already doing your 90 day game plan, that's absolutely fine. Don't stop doing it. Just keep doing it because it's an absolutely amazing way to do it because it holds you um, accountable to keep doing your DMO and keep doing your action, taking your action. So I just wanted to say that because often some people don't realise there are four exactly in a year. So that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Jeanette. I love that. Thank you so much. Um, so, guys, thank you for joining us this evening. Let's have an amazing, amazing uh, week. Don't forget every single day to tell yourself what you want. Like, we are in control of what we attract by what we think. And it's up to us to decide what we truly want with our thoughts and, you know, what we're focusing on. And if you're focusing on what you can't get, if you're focusing on what isn't happening, and if you're focusing on what you didn't get last month, you're just going to get more of that. So wipe the slate clean, start with April and focus on where you're going and what you want. And you'll start to attract that into your life because you are a magnet. And everything that you think is going to become true for you this month. So I challenge you to challenge your thinking, start manifesting everything that you want, do your gratitudes in the morning and your affirmations. And, you know, just really decide that this is your month because the only person that is in control of that is you. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Can I just add something quickly? Yes, yeah, yes. of course. Um, just in terms of the in-home event stuff. Yeah. Um, even if you just had like one person, like you said, it can make a huge difference to whether they order. And I've even just um, like congratulated a certain person in my class for 
you know, the results that they've got. And I had so many people ask me about it afterwards, which was kind of like a similar kind of situation as an in-home event. Um, so I would definitely say you've just got to do it and I've got to do it myself as well. So um, we're all in it, you know, together. Um, secondly, um, with the SP 2000 points, yeah. um, because it's the last month, if they're starting that or they need two consecutive months, do they do the first month as 2000 and the second as 2500 or is it consecutively 2000 still? Yeah. So if they qualify this month as 2000, they're honoured the 2000 for next month as well. Oh, lovely. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So it's time to really run with it. It's time to really like utilise that. Love that. Right. Let's have a picture, everybody. Joe and Alex, are you there, my lovelies? Yeah. There's Joe. Nice to see you. <laughs> Are we right. going to do one? Lovely, job. Thanks, guys. It's been so nice to see you all. Have a lovely evening. Thanks so much, Jeanette. It's been lovely. Um, some amazing tips. And remember, I'm looking for hosts. I love that. Remember to use that, guys. So have a good evening. Thanks for joining us. It's lovely to see you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.